Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe here with Hollywood's World of Sports bringing you another styling and profiling video. So listen up and pay attention because today was a landmark historical day in college football. It was announced today that in 2014 the BCS would go to a four-team playoff to determine the national champion of football. And all I got to say by starting off is finally. It's about time. For the last five to six years, there's been a lot of controversies, a lot of arguments, a lot of debates from teams who should have been in the national championship but weren't due to this BCS electronical point system that they have out there. I personally think the way the electronic system absolutely sucks. I personally think that it should be based on strength of schedule because there's a lot of teams out there that go undefeated that don't don't play anybody. You know, it should be based on strength of schedule, based on who you play in your conference, stuff like that. And personally, here's what bothers me. There's some conferences out there, like the Big Ten, they don't play everybody in their conference. I think a new rule needs to be made where you play everybody in your conference throughout the year. It's only fair and it makes sense because how do you know who the real winner of the conference is, is if you don't is uh, how, how do you know if you don't play everybody in your conference that's you know to me it's a given now as far as the other thing that I have to say about this is that only one you know only one team from a conference can be represented so what that means is I, th I don't think the SEC should have w one more than one team, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Pac-12. They should not have multiple teams in this thing. I think one team from each of those conferences need to represent uh, in this BCS playoff tournament. The heck with the computerized electronical rankings it should be one team and to me it should be the four teams should be the Pac-12 champion the Big 12 champion the Big 10 champion and the SEC champion those four teams in the playoffs that way everybody's represented that way there's more interest that way there's more money to be made for college football and come on, isn't college football a money-driven sport just like any other? It's a business. In order for that business to succeed, you need to be successful. And guess what? Lately, it hasn't been successful because it's been all pro-dominated by the SEC. No Big Ten, no Pac-12, no Big 12, no Big East, or whatever the heck other conference there is out there. Now, I personally think that, you know, that probably won't go this way. It probably, uh, probably wishful thinking on my part to think that each conference will have representation. It probably won't. Uh, as far as I know, they're going to continue ranking teams that they currently have with the whole BCS computerized electronical BS that they've been doing since 1998. I personally think uh, that that needs to be thrown out the window. It needs to be based on strength of schedule alone. So that's the late breaking news of the day. Um, those are just my brief thoughts on it. I, I hope this I hope this new format is successful. I hope it turns out for the best for everybody in college football. I think it will if it's done right. 
I really hope that uh, the, the, the dumb argument, the dumb debate, the dumb disputed, uh, disputed things that have gone on will end. Fortunately, this will bring us one number one undisputed national champion from 2014 to 2025 at least. So for those 10 years, for those 10, 11 years, it's going to be an interesting ride. So um, that's all for me. Again, this is Hollywood Joe with Hollywood's World of Sports. Remembering that controversy doesn't come without criticism. And remember to visit HollywoodsWorldOfSports.com. Thank you, and have a great night.